So, I'm at the Welsh National Eisteddfod. Um, it's an all Welsh language, music, poetry, dance, etc., etc. competition. It's all about Welsh language and culture. And um, I walked around asking people about their feelings about uh, Welsh independence. And so I talked with uh, somebody from the Lib Dem Party, I talked with Plaid Cymru, I talked with somebody from the Conservative Party, and I talked with uh, the treasurer of Yes Cymru, um, one of the driving forces of all these things that are going on. So anyway, here's the interviews. Okay, so I'm here with Steve, and uh, this is the uh, Plaid Cymru tent. A Papad Plaid Cymru and a Reisteddfod. Um, so I met the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> Broad bar, yeah, yeah. Brothers <laughs> of the Beard. Die <laughs> down. <laughs> so uh, uh, I, I was asking him about his thoughts about independence. And you come from England yeah, originally. Yeah, I do. But yeah. you live here in Llanrust. Yeah. I said about I've lived okay. here now well over 25 years. Yeah. Okay. And. Yeah. And what are your thoughts? Obviously, you have a Yes Cymru yeah. shirt on, which is, yeah, you're in favor. As an Englishman in Wales, you're in favor of Welsh independence. Yeah, I am. And, and it came late in life, Phil. Um, I was, and as we were talking earlier, I was criticized late in life by a book by E.P. Thompson. And it was the, the making the English working class. And I realized that as working people, ordinary people, have been oppressed for centuries. Yeah. Uh, and and we're, we're part of a, of a system. Right. And, and so I was politicised, I was looking for somewhere to go, living in Wales, looking for a, a party to find that had the same attitudes as me, right. considered itself socialist in, in outlook, and um, Clyde was the place to go because I think that independence, self-determination is, is, um, is key to improving the lot of working people and of yeah, 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 people yeah, yeah, yeah. in the nation. Right, For right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so thoughts on Welsh independence from Steve. And you probably notice his little scar on his head. He was bombing down a mountain on a mountain bike. And oh, had no, a I was on the road. You were on the road. Yeah, down going the Fun Beres Pass. Oh, yeah. down the Fun You were on the Fun Beres Pass. Oh, okay, so you're still bombing down a mountain. Yeah. And uh, you had a blowout. And so now, now you have the evidence. <laughs> of it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, towards and, independence. Yeah, right. <laughs> so there's, there's a little bit of a few scratches and blood along the way. Yeah, yeah. there always is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, so this is actually one of the things that some friends, um, I had a friend from the Czech Republic with me. And you know, and the Czech Republic is noted for its velvet revolution. Yeah. I mean, they, they kind of partied their way out of, you know, <laughs> bought music from from the West, played it, got arrested, and you yeah. know, and, and that's what was their way to independence in a sense. Um, he was saying he was so surprised at how peaceful and accepting and inclusive the event was. Um, you know, so and that's, that's really important. That's a really important feature of it. It's, it's not exclusive. It's not about uh, walling ourselves off behind some yeah. barrier across the border between England and Wales. Right. It, it's, it's about self determination. Right. Uh, right. And, and everybody's included in that as long as they have the, the interests of Wales at heart yeah. and their citizens. So I, I like, to, you know, rather than say I'm Welsh, I like to say I'm a citizen of Wales. Yeah. 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 Okay, so that's thoughts on independence um, for Wales from Steve. Some Steve, who's from England <laughs> and now li living that. in Wales for the last. Well, I'm from America, <laughs> you know. Talk, talk about a nation that wants to take everything over, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we just do it with McDonald's and Starbucks. <laughs> okay, thanks. That was awesome. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, so this this is Lee. Canning, and I'm asking his perspective, different uh, different perspective than the last one, which was about from Plaid Cymru people about Welsh independence, and and you're not in favour of it. Uh, I'm not. No, uh, I have actually uh, got a very fortuitous position um, where I'm not actually from Wales originally. Right. Um, I've only been living in Wales for half my life, 
Uh, I, I'm originally from Ulster, Northern Ireland. Yeah. And I was going to ask you if you were from Ireland. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I can see from uh, from two pers- two sides of an argument. Arguments for uh, a unified Ireland under the, the guise of Sinn Féin and, and their comrades within the IRA. And I can also see uh, the, the Welsh independence movement movement looking to break up the United Kingdom as well. Right. So, being here for 17 years, uh, I'm more than qualified for the Welsh rugby team. I, I, yeah. don't, I don't have a Welsh accent and I, I do not speak Welsh, but that doesn't mean that I can see the arguments, uh, but as well as that, argue against those arguments. Yeah, yeah. So, so what are what are your thoughts against independence? Why is it a bad thing in your view? Well, first and foremost, from an economic perspective, right. Wales in itself has really got no industry. I know that there's people that have romantic images about reviving the coal industry that we had 100 to 150 years ago. Right. Um, but, but the only real industry that Wales has got now is tourism. Um, tourism is, is, is pretty much the market that brings uh, money into areas like Conway, which, which we're in now, uh, right. and, and throughout the rest of Wales, so where a lot of money actually goes. And Wales as a, as a nation actually only raises 56 pence for every one pound spent in the public services. So, right. one of the reasons why I don't agree with Welsh independence is because if Wales was to, to get that independence, then sadly you would see communities throughout Wales, particularly in the South Wales Valleys and in rural Wales being decimated because the public finances simply wouldn't be there to sustain those communities. Right, right. Um, it's not to say that I disagree with Wales having the opportunity of being independent. I think that there's lots of things that Wales could try to offer, but right. it's better being a part of the United Kingdom, which we as a as a, as a nation of four nations can work together and, and strive right. for right. global markets, global economies, rather than being very, very singular, you know, it's quite a small nation right. with only one really industry there now at the moment, which is which is still in its infancy. Of course, yes. And of course, the big voice right now is the leader of Light Cymru. Yes, um, Adam Ad- Price. Yeah, Adam Price, yeah. And he's very eloquent in, in his is. approach. Excellent politician. Right, right, right. Um, and and he, so he makes an argument of smallness not being a problem, as well as looking at a lot of nations that are now free from being under the banner of the UK and saying, you know, he says, of course, yes. How many of them want back? You know, actually, when you look at it, you've got countries such as Rwanda, which we we never actually. Uh, in our colonial past, right. we actually didn't have an interest at all in Rwanda. It was the French, right. but Rwanda's joined the, the Commonwealth, so people are actually wanting to get okay. involved with yeah, the yeah, United yeah, Kingdom yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and the, the countries that, that we are affiliated to. There's, you know, there's, there's nations such as the, the Irish Republic, which broke away from us back in 1921. Um, right. Circumstances were very, very different back then. We had that we just come over the First World War. Right. Um, the, the economic systems were, were completely different. But if we were actually working now in the United Kingdom with a common purpose to, to, to help each other out and for our communities to thrive and grow, then I can't see why we can't live and prosper together. Okay, so here's Lee Cannon and I again. And I asked, I asked the, the question about. Um, well, I, I answered a question about why some people feel that Wales got the bad end of the stick, and a lot of that is historical, yeah. because if we look at the scars on the mountains of mining, and in those same places we see a lot of poverty. It's as though the greatest riches of the world were stolen from the country, and people were left in poverty when they were done with the business. And then you had a um, response to that. Well, it, it's a case that we've got a historical side of that, and... and You've got right. scars on on every nation. Right, um, right. You know, in the Americas, you've got old mines in India. Uh, Native Americans. Yeah, Native Americans. Right, right, right. Uh, you've got throughout Europe, where you've got nations that have been scarred with old industry. Um, and I know that you've got the romance of people that might think that their country was raped and pillaged. And right, right. In Wales, you know, I know that people would say, you know, eight hundred years of raping and pillaging uh, the natural resources, but. That's a process, and what you've actually got now is you've got a new modern era um, where right. business and industry are actually developing. Uh, they're moving away from, say, the, the old fossil fuels that we had. So right, in right. Wales Valleys, it was a coal mining industry. 
Right. Those uh, coal mining supplied many, many thousands of jobs to people right. throughout the years and helped communities feed themselves. Right. Um, what we need to be doing now is looking at a new, exciting future for Wales. And we can only do that as part of the United Kingdom on a global right. market rather than a sort of an introverted, independent okay, yeah, yeah, state yeah. where the Welsh government's failing them. Um, you know, what, what, if anything, we, we should be doing is looking at the past and not everything that we've done in the past was good. Right, 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 um, right, right. Yeah. You know, Welsh people. Well, and as somebody from Ireland, you, uh, you know that as well. Right, on our uh, Yeah. So, so, oh, oh right. Diolch about you. So, so, uh, so, you know, we were all part of a, a, as a, a collective British Empire in the past, and some of the things that the British Empire had done, a lot of things that the British Empire had done, weren't the best. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. we, we can all come to terms with that and, right. and, and try to get over it and try to help people throughout the world, and, and we have been doing that, sort of, you know, get, get their sense of national pride up, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with people being proud of Wales and right, loving their right, culture. Right, right. But you have to think about what makes sense, and if a, if it's a case that uh, want an independence, Wales has got a fiscal, uh, economic, uh, you know, argument to it, which makes right, complete right. sense, then I'm happy to look at that. Right. But at the moment, it all seems to be a, an argument of hate, history, and, and, and if anything, just a case of um, right, we we just don't want to be a part of this anymore because right, of the right. romance of something that could have been 900 years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, Look, my, my grandfather, well, actually, my, my surname Canning comes from Wiltshire in England. Um, but okay. I've got, but I've got yeah, yeah. Irish in my family. I've got a, a, a very, very mixed bag. And if I used to go back in history far enough, I'm sure that there would be somebody that I'd have an issue with. Yeah, yeah, of course. Rather than going back in time and, and thinking, right, I've got a bit of beef to to settle with somebody, why not look at the future and, and how we as a, a as a nation of Wales with with people like myself who have come into Wales, obviously uh, I've got the accent which which definitely proves that I was not born here. Oh, yeah. um, but but there are many, many people like me and what we should be doing is looking at this as a community, working together for the betterment of Wales in a United Kingdom rather than just trying to settle old, old scores. Um, yeah. you know, if we all move together as a community, as a family, and, and, and share common values and, of, of respect and decency, we'll get on in life. And if you keep looking back at history and thinking, yeah, I've got an old score to settle, for my generations, seven or 800 years ago, well, then it's a very sad time. Yeah, well, thank you. Okay, Edwin Shadow, there was Jason Edwards. He's he's running for what's the what's the uh, parliamentary candidate parliamentary for Aberconwy for the Welsh Liberal Democrats. Okay, and I asked him the question: what he thinks about Welsh independence, and this is what he had to say. <laughs> My ideas of Welsh independence, um, the romantic in me would love the idea. Um, I've been born and raised up in Anglesey and I lived in Wales all my life. Right. However, when you talk about things like independence and we're talking about um, you know, borders on the uh, between England and Wales, right, right. what's going to happen there? What's going to happen with things like laws, our judicial systems all tied up, uh, defence. To right. me, do you Sorry about that. Uh, to me, I think a, a federal state makes far more sense. It would give us that independence that we do need, the chance to make our own laws, and also to be able to veto other countries, you know, whether right. it be Scotland or England or Northern Ireland, but they'd have the opportunity as well yeah, to have yeah. their say. So it's not just a case of being, you know, a, a one big uh, um, parliamentary system like we have at the moment, right. effectively governing the rest. Um, you know, I think there's a chance for real change there. and. Personally, I welcome the fact that um, this has at least raised this conversation. The whole thing about Brexit, obviously. Right, 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 right. I, right, I, right. I, I do like that. I do like All that. Right. It's, it's, um, yeah, power to the people, man. Okay. Hey, thank you so much. Okay, so I am here with Gwyn. Gwyn is part of Yes Cymru, otherwise he wants independence. <laughs> Justin Dickwith, what's happening? What's going on here? It's like it's just been a few months since I've been here and I've watched this thing explode. Yeah, well, it's, you know, it's been um, bubbling away for, say, two or three years now, but it's really hit the mainstream in the last few months. Um, yeah. I think the, the march in Cardiff in May was right. an explosion and, you know, it's just 
you know, snowball since then, really, and it's still growing right, right, at right, a right, massive right. pace now. So right. we have 3,000 in Cardiff in May, as the video over there shows, um, there was 8,000 in um, Carnarvon. Right, I was in, in the, the middle North. of that. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It was amazing. Yeah, so, yeah. and then the next one we have is in um, Medford Sitville, right, right. right. So, hoping hoping to build on that. You know, it's a total lot that's built on 8,000, but, you know, we never know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And, yeah. And in Carnarvon, you're like in the heart of yeah, where yeah. people are most passionate about yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's certainly a sort of, you know, uh, nationalistic heart plan. Right. Um, but it's still quite rural as well, you know, so right. uh, at least in Medford City, it's in, in the valleys, so, you know, you, you just, there's a lot of people there, so, you know, right. so, there is a lot of, you know, there's a big strength of feeling there as well. So, right, right. But, you know, yeah, you know, we're quietly hopeful for, you know, yeah, yeah. for big figures there as well. So, um, you're passionate about this. Mm, yeah. Why? Um, well, I guess I I didn't grow up with this passion. I was, you know, I guess like many people, just right. took on the sort of the British state's uh, propaganda. You know, that we're too small, too poor, too yeah, cheap, yeah, all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, and yeah. Never really questioned that. It was just right. something that people quietly sort of accepted and went on with, with their lives. But right. recently. Well, you know, what I think what the big, the big thing that's changed a lot recently is the, the Brexit vote. Not, not, not the vote itself, but the, how right. we've been treated in the aftermath. The fact that uh, we've not been consulted in any part of the negotiations or anything like that. Right, so right, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel it's lifted the lid on how Westminster has always treated us, but by like, keeping it quiet. So now it's all in the open right. for everyone to see. Yeah, yeah, And now yeah. that's why we're fighting back now and, you know, demanding right, right. better and demanding to be part of the world that we've never been before. Yeah, yeah. Um, so how much do you think Adam Price has been a part of this? Well... Because he's clearly yeah, he, a big he's, driver uh, and he's yeah, eloquent. Yeah, he's a formidable politician, fair play. And, um, yeah. But I think, I think we, you know, like Cymru and yes, Cymru, the, the movement for independence is completely separate entities, but I think right. we're both complementing each other well at the moment. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's, yeah, um, yeah. Um, Because yes, Cymru, we're non-party political. So right. we, we, you know, appeal, we appeal to all the parties. You know, we, we do have members of all, you know, even the most unionist you know, parties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we do have yeah. members, but um, yeah, I think it's both movements and our complements each other. It's, it's just the symptom of how right. the movement is growing. I so, think. so as an American who doesn't know the history of this, what is what's the history of Yes Cymru? Um, well, it, um, interestingly, Yes Cymru was initially formed in 2014. Okay. Purely to to help um, promote the idea of Scottish independence, because you know it's just before the Scottish okay. vote in 2014. Yeah, 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 yeah. Therefore, um, that was grown then just to sort of give, just to show solidarity, to so you know we're with you all the way. You know, we you can do this. Right. Then when that didn't happen, then you know. You know, we sort of we all licked our wounds for a, for a little while. And then, right. when when the Brexit thing happened, that's when boom, that's when yes, Cymru was like, okay, we need to do it on our own. Now. Right. We need to. Right, do it right, 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 right. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and it's kind of an epic moment. Isn't yeah, it? I yeah, mean, yeah. You guys have momentum. It's yeah, and amazing. it's just just going. The, the, the trajectory yeah, yeah. of the moments is just okay. incredible. So okay. <laughs> keep going. Well, personally, you know. An American who just loves Wales. Mm. I'm with you. Mm. Nice one. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, <laughs>
I had questions for uh, David about Welsh independence. So here is an American influenced yeah. Welshman living in South Wales. And what do you think about this move for independence? Well, I think it's long overdue, actually. Um, you know, I think um, uh, Wales has been downtrodden for so many centuries. Its culture, its language, um, um, ridiculed even in certain periods of time. And, you know, I, I think um, I think it may be healthy for a division amongst the Isles, yeah. you know, such as Brexit might bring about for the country. I mean, I think... I think um, you have to realize there's diversity on these islands. Right, right, right. Um, Ireland started that move in the 20s when they gained independence. And we have to understand that that, that is not only Wales or England, there's Scotland, there's Cornwall, the Isle of Man, other, other extremities of, of, in, of, of, of um, minorities and things like this. Right. So, in terms of Welsh independence, I think it's long overdue, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you, it probably feels a little bit like the, the dragon has arisen a bit, huh? Of dragging it a the bit? The dragon has arisen. <laughs> yeah, 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 I think it has, yeah. yeah. Um, I think we need to have more well-spoken in the schools, though, and amongst people who live, right. ac- live across the country. Right. More pride right. in the language, yeah, even, yeah, especially yeah. amongst yeah, yeah. Southeasterners who speak more English than Welsh, generally. So, yeah. Right, right. So, uh, you know, I, I was mentioning that back in May I came here, and it didn't even seem like there were whispers. No, no, no. In the middle of the month of May, no. didn't seem like there were even whispers of this kind of movement of interest in independence. What happened in a two, two and a half short months? Well, a man named Adam Price came along is one thing. And he, um, he, he became the leader of Clyde Company. Party of Wales, yeah. yeah. With an ambitious um, desire to, to bring independence to Wales within a set time frame. Wow, and um, and um, he's an eloquent voice in of it. He's an eloquent he? speaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw Harvard, him. He's been educated at Cardiff and Harvard University. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, so, uh, yeah, he, he was at Harvard while I was living in Salem, Mass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw him speak at the Hay Festival, and I have to say, it was impressive. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, and, and also we've been let down by the. Countless Westminster government and they're not going to talk about that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But we have been let down by Westminster government's time after time after time. Okay. The final devolution comes along in the late 90s. 20 years later, we're still not fully independent. Right. Uh, well, David. This is where that call is coming from. Yeah. Joe, come on, Joe. Yeah.